Hey guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kohl. I hope you all guys are doing good. So uh, today's topic which I will discuss with you is auditing. So uh, you know um, from the concept itself, maybe people who are working with applic uh, Remedy or other applications, they might know this, what is auditing and um, what is audit in BMC Remedy. So today we will see this in detail. Auditing normally is uh, done in every organization. So what exactly is auditing? Auditing means that uh, there is some investigation done uh, for, for a particular org organization. It can be of any type. It can be on the application. It can be on the process which organization is following. Sorry, uh, which organization is following or it can be on um, any organizational, uh, you know, department, any organizational uh, uh, work um, process or um, or you know different um, operations of an organization so everything can be audited so um, and also um, um, the the policies of an organization that can also be audited now here in in Rem remedy what exactly is auditing that we will see so as the general concept says that auditing means that to verify um, you know uh, your uh, data verify your um, processes verify your policies and see if they are streamlined you are following your processes and you are maintaining that uh, required data for your process now uh, here in remedy i will explain you with certain with an example okay so uh, for example you are working in an organization and you have a uh, you have bmc remedy and your people are using it they are creating tickets they are modifying it they are you know they, you have different um, processes different um, uh, policies which are uh, being followed on your remedy application for example hr uh, requests sales department um, request and other department requests are being processed on bmc remedy now suppose um, for a particular you know um, you know policy for example the um, you know payroll system or hr policy suppose sometimes there is a breach okay so there was a request um, from somebody and some other person was able to see this request who was not supposed to see it. So then that means there is a breach of policy. So this person who was not supposed to do this was able to do it. Now to track this that how he got the uh, in the system uh, sorry uh, how he was able to access it we have to track down his access that how he was able to access this application. For example there is a form on remedy which some person is not supposed to see. But somehow he is able to see this form and he was able to do modifications on it. He was able to create something on that form. Now, in order to track this, you should have a history. So, history means that whenever that operation happened in the system, in backend, there should be something, a tracking mechanism which, which should uh, track it. So, in, in remedy, uh, if you do not um, have this, then you, are, uh, you will be questioned by your auditors and um, your auditors will basically fail you in the in the you know um, um, or uh, this um, uh, when basically they will um, uh, they will um, they can disqualify you for certain processes or maybe they will um, um, uh, charge you because you are not following the uh, processes so then um, this uh, you know th this can happen in an organization where you, you are not following a particular person. Now, uh, auditor also, uh, as an auditor, they will also want you to maintain certain uh, data or, uh, you know, maintain um, certain aspects of an application of a process so that later in future, if you want to investigate, you should be able to give him the, the proper justification. Okay, this is how it happened. Maybe it is not the fault of an organization. Maybe it is not fault of an individual. Maybe it is a fault from a system. So, but you should have a proper way of justifying it. <clears throat> so, now in that, in this sense, for example, that HR form, we have defined an auditing. So, okay, once we have defined an auditing, so what happens that it tracks each and every activity on that form, whether I am modifying a record, I am deleting a record, or I am doing something else on that form, even if a single change is done on a one field, it will track that. So, then it helps me in investigating these uh, issues so this is a very important thing uh, because every organization uh, whether small or big 
they will have this auditing and process so now in remedy also it supports it so it it helps you in uh, defining the auditing and then later you can track it based using the audit form so i will go here in the definition let's go to the actual form so this is the place so here it is you can see the auditing is here then uh, you have to define what type of auditing you want whether it's a log or a form if in case you select a form it will be audited to a particular audit form it will create an audit form and in case you select log it will uh, set a log to a particular log form so for example if i selected this log here enabled it then i will say <coughs> this is the audit uh, audit state this is the um, audit state and um, which says yes or no enable or disable so here i am enabling it now audit only change fields so uh, this is an option which uh, in this case if you select yes it will only push the values of the changed fields to the audit form if you say no it will push all the values of the existing field to the audit form whether they are changed or not for example you change the status of a uh, field a status value it will push all the uh, fields to the audit form if this is selected as uh, no but if it is selected yes it will only put the uh, changed field which is the status field then i can give the uh, here uh, if it is selected log it will not give you the audit form name you don't cannot select anything you have to define it here so you have to select the log form so everything gets audited on this form so if you select the log so let's see both the options now for auditing also you will have a qualification so you can this is a qualification you can define here that based on which condition based on which form it should create this audit you can define it also here in the uh, in the qualification section sometimes you want to audit based on certain qualification so that you also you can define but as of now i have not defined anything let me just save it okay now let me open this form let's go here okay let's uh, define this let me see this form let me open this form okay now uh, let's go back to the this actual form and here let me make some changes okay i will say this is 60 i'll save it and now if i go to the log search it so it should have an instance of this just a minute so here okay um it's not cur currently coming i think it will take some time but this is how it exactly it is it comes here in the uh, in this like the property uh, field changes what was the um, value change for that you know field okay, just a minute let me check it here or we can define a qualification that age is not equal to null let me define a qualification and then let's see okay now let me go back to this form again sorry let me verify this form student underscore table yes correct now here let me save the hit here <laughs> i think it is uh, yet to run it will run and then it will come here let's see the other one option okay because that is quite simple so let me go here into the form so here i can define audit form student underscore audit
and then I will save it. So what it will do when you will uh, put this name, it will create this form in the backend. It will create a, this form in the backend as an audit form. And now what will happen? Any changes to the um, any field on that uh, student underscore table form will be audited on that. So it will be stored here in this. So you can see it has created this audit form. Currently there isn't anything. So let me make some changes. I think it's not. Uh, yeah, it will. Uh, I think it will not do this immediately. It will run through a process and then it will do it. But here, this is how exactly it is done. You will enable it uh, and then this will. Uh, when you make changes to this form automatically it will track everything on this form so even let's suppose now the example which i have taken if somebody had accessed this form he had done some changes so you will be able to see that he was able to uh, access this form on this particular date this particular time it will have everything in this form somehow here it's not showing it uh, but uh, not showing it here uh, but uh, th this is this just the concept of auditing how it works uh, you can try it in case you are facing any issues just let me know i will help you in this uh, <coughs> you can enable it on your own uh, system and then um, uh, try it and um, uh, this is just a um, normal um, you know basic um, uh, bmc concept for auditing just uh, it's very simple to define it here and then it will automatically get it gets um, activated and you can audit any form any um, um, regular form on bmc remedy and then it can be tracked so you can track all activities on that form uh, we normally do auditing on main forms where we are uh, storing the data for example in, in case of incident management we will have that um, incident form in case of problem management we have the we have the problem form where we can uh, define the data so uh, sorry where the operations are happening on daily basis and all or some critical forms where you want to uh, keep a track of the entries you can um, you can define it where you want to keep a track of the uh, changes happening in that form so then you can define this auditing there i think this is it from my side thank you thanks for uh, watching this video please subscribe to my channel and like my videos and i'll be posting more such videos in future thank you